Yo, what's good, YouTube? Y'all know me. It's your boy, MacDZ, back up in there. And today, today it's what y'all asked for. We got the battle, y'all. We got the JBL Extreme 2 versus the Sony XB41. Now, I might be doing this on a location, so y'all have to excuse the lighting, y'all have to excuse the locale, and you'll have to excuse the noise. We are actually outside right now on South Beach in Miami. It's Thanksgiving, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day. So right now, we got that kind of dusk uh, feel to it, so it's right after everybody kind of left for the day crowds that are leaving the beach and whatnot with their families. So kind of got that lull in the volume before the evening people start to come through and doing all of the all the run through here with those Lambos and the Ferraris and all that stuff that you see at night on South Beach. So I thought we'd get this in real quick, see if we can't do this real hitter real quick. And we got those usual five points that we like to go off on. We've got the cost. We've got the look. We've got the sound. We've got those intangibles. And finally, we've got that badassery. All right, so we're gonna first take a look real quick, see what we got as far as uh, getting through on the cost on these bad boys. Now, the last time I checked, which keep in mind, it is that Black Friday weekend, so there might be an askew look to the cost at some points. And I was just watching something real funny just a minute ago, so y'all have to excuse my life. <laughs> Koreans try Jamaican food. That's 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 just phenomenal. I gotta check that out later on. I gotta remember that one. So uh, I'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, what do we got then? All right, so we want to check out the cost of that JBL Extreme right now. So what I'm doing is I'm using the Amazon as usual to check out that cost because I think that's where you can find both products at their most reasonable without going directly to their to their uh, personal website. So if you guys want a brand new one, a brand new one is going to cost you two forty nine of the JBL Extreme Two. They also have a renewed version uh, for one fifty nine. So if you guys want to save a few bucks and you don't mind it being you know either used before or whatever the case may be, what they mean by renewed, you have it here for one fifty nine ninety nine. Um, the most inexpensive one I've seen on here, though, is the Extreme, the first one that's renewed at 116, so that's not the Extreme 2. But anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and check out that Sony XB41 and try to get the new and also renewed versions for y'all. Okay, so the Sony SRS XB41, uh, this is the B, I don't know what that means, but You'll find it right now, not renewed, for $122.43. That's actually more than $100 cheaper than this. However, uh, the renewed version of it is $99. Bucks. So that in itself also is pretty darn cheap as well. So for under $100, bucks, you can get a renewed one of those bad boys, and you're good to go. I don't know why they got a renewed one that's 159 that's more expensive than both. Let me check out what this 122 is. Is that a renewed version as well? No, it says new. I don't know. I don't know why this particular one is so cheap, even though, you know, this is the Amazon choice, but it is, it's pretty inexpensive, 122. Don't worry, I'll drop links down in the comments, that will, down in the description, right down here, for both of these, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and move on to that next that next thing. All right, so we've got that cost. Let's go ahead and take a look at that look. Now, both of these have that felt-like material on them that's wrapping them, whereas the XB41, which I'm sorry, I'm sorry if it's not in focus right now, guys. I'm trying out the new camera, too. Again, everything, this is on locale, so y'all have to excuse me. Um, the look on this, on this bad boy, it's got that felt-like material all the way around except for the controls on top and in the back where they have that rubber gasket, okay? So that rubber gasket actually houses where they have the uh, charging port, so you have your USB out, you have your charge in, which is a micro USB, but they also do have a proprietary plug that you can also charge from that. They have their three button system, which is that add, which you can just add a second one. 
They've got the WPC, which is that wireless party chain, and then they have the light one, which is so that you can control the light as well as the battery. So when you press the button, you get the battery. It says, like a little voice says the battery, but if you press and hold it, you can control the lights as well. Now, um, the next joint we're gonna check out here, as far as the look, oh, right, let me just close this back. This gasket back, put you back up on the spot is the JBL. Now the JBL also for their look does come with a, 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 a cable, I don't know if you really call it a cable, but it comes with a, with a band and this band is really nice so it has those spinny latches right here but also comes with a bottle opener included on it so yeah on top of it being the thing that adjusts the, the, the length and the width of the actual strap, it also comes with a bottle opener on that strap handle. And that is like a, aluminum or metal, so that's real nice. Next up, we've got, uh, for the look, even though the felt material goes all the way around the side, what you'll notice is you'll have your open base tubes here. Now, they are IPX rated. I will actually put the IPX rating here for this one and here for this one so you guys can see what the IPX ratings are on each of these. What I did not like in the first version compared to this one now is that in the back here before they went to the Extreme 2 and got the gasket which is amazing um, they actually had like a zipper back here it was just ridiculous. Um, what I did like about the first one that they took away was they had two charging ports there USB outs. Here they only have the one. You do have your micro USB in as well as your proprietary in and then they have the aux out as well so that's pretty cool as well um, the rubber gaskets on these the stoppers are much better in my opinion as far as the look is concerned than the Sony's which are just these little not even feet but just like a little lift it's a rubber like lift so you know besides that though these are two top notch top of the line speakers out of control as you can see on south beach things be happening so the cops are out all right so let's go ahead and connect these bad boys and start listening to some music so we can get that sound that number three all right so what are we going to attach this to let's go ahead and take it to that i am both by the way both of these bad boys have apps all right so we just connected i want to see hold up hold up if we can get it connected to this PR yeah, Max Extreme 2, boom. There you go, it just connected. So it's connected to my phone and to this as well. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take it to um, some copyright free music, which means that I've got to get that song, artist, anecdote. We're gonna do the anecdote, and um, we're gonna go ahead and do, use that turn it up bad boy that we use that y'all like. <laughs> uh, that we at least use, how about that? <laughs> so we've got that no copyright sound about to play on. So here we go. It was all the way up on this bad boy. All right. As you can tell, it gets pretty loud. We're out here in public, so I'm trying really hard not to be too loud, especially with the cops roaming around, as you guys just heard. So that was the JBL. I don't have my, um, I don't have my decibel meter here with me when I travel today, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll continue to test this at home, and right here, I will put the decibel meter um, count for you guys, okay? Next up, we're gonna go with that Sony. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off and keep it moving with the Sony here now. And so what I do like also, the connection for the JBL. It's so easy, y'all. I mean, 
first and foremost, you can have multiple devices attached. So that kind of ha- allows you to do that. Um, multiple people going ahead and and DJing at the same time. That's first. Secondly, what I really truly like is the fact that um, once you, t- even if it's connected to another device, if you connect it to a secondary device, it won't disconnect from that first one, but it won't interrupt which actually is what's happening right now with the Sony. I am attempting, as it's already connected to one, I'm trying to connect it to this one as well. Let's see. There you go. Okay, so we good to go. And not only that, it took it right to the app, where you can see it's got that got the listing of the of the uh, of the product and everything as well. Um, I don't know what it's talking about, but okay. So let's go ahead and get back to the music here and see what we can see. Start it back up from the beginning here. Okay. Both of these are very loud speakers, okay? So there's no doubt about that. Without looking at them, though, I can always tell the sound signature of both of these speakers. Why? The JBL just happens to hit a lot lower on that bass, in my personal opinion. Go ahead, down below, disagree with me, have it out. That's cool, I understand, you know, but the Sony does give you a clarity on those mids and highs that I truly appreciate as well. So for certain types of music, that's why people ask me all the time, well, why do you take out this one as opposed to that one? Like, it all depends on the type of music I feel like listening to that night. If I'm listening to some jams, you know, some reggae, some hip hop, I'll bring out the JBL. If I'm listening to some 80s, if I'm listening to some, some, some easy listening, some everyday pop music, I'm gonna take out the Sony. It truly depends on what music I feel like listening to. And that's really what it, what it boils down to when it comes to the sound. So, for the sound, so far, let's go ahead and say what we, what we got so far. So we got three, three down. First, we had that cost. Right now, Sony's got it on the cost, without a doubt, $100 cheaper. Number two, we got that look. That, that, the, the, okay. That's hard because the way this just looks, just sitting around, this looks amazing. But when you turn on those LEDs, those look like light. You know what those remind me of? Do you remember that robot movie, like Short Circuit back in the 80s, 90s? I don't remember when it was, but like in the 80s, whatever. It looked like the face of that robot, but in black, don't it? I'm just saying. Um, So on that look, I want to give a push, but I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give it to JBL on the look for now. For now, I got the look on, on, on JBL. When it comes to that sound, and that sound signature, I'm gonna hold off on that one and give that opinion at the end. Those intangibles, number four, intangibles. Okay, besides the LEDs, which isn't intangible in my opinion, um, I gotta say, I gotta say both of them have some pretty decent ones. First and foremost, being able to open a bottle. I do like to drink, so boom, bottle opener comes in handy. Um, The flap, making this, um, I I think it's IPX7, I'm not sure. Again, I'll put that right here again. Um, I believe that this is IPX7, and the fact that it's got that flap, keeping it nice nice and easy to use on the beach, really dig that. But the fact that they have a wireless party chain button on this Sony, they got the NFC for your connectivity, I gotta give those intangibles to the Sony. Now, when it comes to badassery, I mean, just straight up number five, badassery. Dunny, there's nothing like when you're rolling down and people hear that JBL coming. That is some badass shit. 
But when you're sitting around and you and people walking by and they see those lights, they see the LEDs flashing, dude, that's what's up. Everybody asks, yo, what is that? What, what is, literally that happened to me just last night. I was at a restaurant, put it on low, real just ambiance music for me and my lady. And they still, people walking by, just, hey, um, I just noticed something was like flashing and, 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 and lights were going on on your table. What is that? Again, you know what I'm saying? Something that stands out, that catch, catches people's attention. So for that reason, I think we're going to have to give it to the Sony, all right? On those bad asteroids, I think we're going to have to give it to, give it to the Sony. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we got the cost going to Sony. We got that look going to JBL. We got that, we got those intangibles going to JBL, and we got that badassery going to Sony. So you got a two to two, meaning that last thing is the sound. So what I want you guys to do for me, go down below and tell me who you think won the sound battle. Was it the Sony or was it the JBL? You'll see a nice little survey right up here. Y'all take that survey. That's the only place that those that those actual officials count. You can leave all the comments you want. You got to take that survey to be counted. All right? And when you do that survey, you let me know is that you did the survey in the comments down below. All right? And so we'll go ahead, add those up, total those up, and tell you what you think in a follow-up on this right here. Give me about two to three weeks after that that I'm going to give you that follow-up. And who knows? By then, I might hit that magic number that I'm doing a giveaway as well. So we'll see. Y'all let me know which one y'all think won. While you're down there, going ahead and giving those comments. While you're doing that survey, might as well go ahead. Give me them thumbs, yo. Give me them thumbs. And hey, always be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.